Well, Baylor women's basketball landed their second commit for the class of 2022. And she's a good one. And Isabella Fonto Lavoy. Y S A B E L L A. I guess that's how you pronounce it, but I don't know. But she's a six foot one wing that's number 40 overall and number eight in her position. She's a huge pickup. Because she could, she's an athletic, pro, uh, she could rebound and she attacks up-tempo and hit mid-range to, to the three. So, that was back in 2019, so still. That's a huge pickup. And the first commit was post player Kyla Abraham, who is 6'5", and she's number 61 in, in, oh, in the country and, and number 9 in her position. I do know. That they're going to, they have a few more targets along the way. Hey, like, besides Transfer Portal. I mean, that's the thing. And that's kind of important. Because, you know, they're going to, they're going to for sure going to not have Jordan Lewis. And Kamari McDaniel next year. I'm pretty sure Nelissa Smith is WNBA bound up this year, but I don't know. But I, but Queen Ebba, I don't, I won't be shocked either way, honestly, because she's good. And I do know they do have a walk on in Andrea Camatromados. She is something. She, in 93 games in high school she played, she scored 917 points, including making 902 three-pointers. So, she's no ordinary walk-on. and She is a 5-for-10 guard, but I'm not sure if she's going to get a scholarship at some point or not. We'll see. And, I, and it's definitely good that they are on a fast start on this recruiting for 2022. Considering it's a new coaching staff and new system and all. Now they just got to go out there and win more recruiting battles and win games. Because if they do that, more will come. And I'm pretty sure they're going to look at Juke. They're going to look at Juco's and they're going to look at Transfer Portal, like I said. And ideally, Coach Nikki said they want at least the magic number for her is 12. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.